Jeremy Rutherford tweeted out, quote, I'm hearing the maroon could be a blue berry no, they know that he's getting other offers from other teams, and that's why it is a hometown discount. Taking less money to play in your hometown, I think people really will appreciate that. How heartbroken would it be if I told my son I had a chance to play in St. Louis, and I said, hey, I didn't sign here. I chased the money. You know what you need to do when you get home? Hmm. Just clean your room. <laughs> Come on. This is on camera, you know that, right? I know. You're doing the pooper scooper. Cut this part out, please. <laughs> <laughs> I was really looking forward to free agency. It was my first free agency, and it didn't go as planned. I was coming off a 43-point season, career high in numbers, and I thought I was going to get a raise. I really did, and I thought it was going to be my home run deal. From my understanding, teams were interested in me, but there was no really offers. I don't think he's, he's overly excited about how the uh, free agency uh, situation played out. Chip on his shoulder, baby. He switched representation. It was one of those things where I thought I wasn't getting the traction I wanted, and uh, I thought it was time just to move on. I hired Ben Hankinson. I needed a new voice and a new opinion. I thought Ben was the best option for us. You want to have some coffee? I'm not even halfway down the beers. Oh, I'm just... You just spilt it everywhere, bud. Don't wipe on your pants. <laughs> You can't see it. Oh, my gosh. You're funny. Nobody saw Pat Maroon entering free agency and saw him signing a one-year contract. So to get this guy on a one-year deal is a complete steal for the St. Louis Blues. I wanted to hear that teams were wanted me and believed in me. And uh, we kind of got that traction from New Jersey, Arizona, and St. Louis. Arizona offered us a two-year deal. New Jersey offered me quite a bit more money, but I took a chance on myself. I took a chance to sign a one-year deal with way less money to play in my hometown. I'm betting on myself, and I'm going to take all the risk. And I thought it would be a better situation, a better fit if I came to St. Louis because my son Anthony was going to be here. And I think, most importantly, you can't put a price tag on family. Go play defense. Go get Anthony. That away, Bernie. That away, Bernie. Big saves. It's a special moment for not only me, but for him, too, to have his dad around all year round. And we talked about it over the phone. And then I think when I told him face to face, he kind of really, we both choked up a little bit. I seen more in September than I'll, I'll ever see in the nine years I've been away from him. It's been awesome. Oh! Old man wins. There's no question he left money on the table. I know that for a fact. And that's why it is a hometown discount to tell these other teams, no, I'll take less money to play in my hometown so little Anthony can watch me every single home game. Welcome home, St. Louis native number seven, Patrick Maroon. I got choked up a little bit coming out of there and knowing that your family's in the home opener and they're seeing you, the team that they used to watch growing up too, and that jersey. And having Anthony there, seeing him on the glass during warm-ups, I mean, you can't really beat that. It was honestly one of the coolest moments of my life.